What's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. And on today's episode, I really need your guys' help. We are about to make some decisions that's going to shape the rest of the year. So I really need your guys' input. You guys know I value your feedback and I love your suggestions. So guys, I need your help. So, the help I need from you guys is, with the shop going through a lot of challenges from January up until now, we've actually found our feet again, and we're starting to see the light at the end of the tunnel. That purely means that the SEMA build and the gravity build was put a little bit on hold. Now that we are where we are in terms of the shop's uh, performance, I need to make a decision now as to how we're going to go for gravity. And also I need to make a decision on the SEMA uh, build. So if you guys been following and you watched the previous video, you'd know that we're building the E34 wagon into an M5 replica. The problem we set with is we haven't been able to source an E34 M5 donor car at a reasonable price in order to strip and do the build. So in essence, I need some more time uh, to find the donor car so we can build it for SEMA. Now, with that being said, there's another challenge we face with SEMA. SEMA is the type of show where you can't just phone and say, guys, I want to rock up. You've got to be part of the exhibition or the exhibitors, or you've got to purchase a stand in order to showcase your company. Now, that is a little bit of a stress because number one, the cost factor for us to go and purchase a stand and put our car on display is super, super expensive. And the other option is partnering up with one of the companies that are already there. So we're kind of thinking of doing airlift in the wagon, but the problem is airlift has already planned their boot. So we got to send through a proposal of what we want to build, what airlift products we're going to use, etc. So that causes a little bit of an issue. So right now, as it stands, there's a 50% chance that we're going to SEMA. There's a 50% chance that we're not going to SEMA. Um, Raj and Palm of Car Audio and Security are trying to see what they can do to get us to partner up with them so we can go to SEMA and display. Um, waiting for feedback from them so they'll let us know shortly. And then we've got uh, a, a local airlift distributor, Uncle Sean from VAG Cafe, that's also trying to see if he can get us in with airlift. So there's a 50-50% chance that we might make it to SEMA, we might not make it to SEMA. But also the other spanner in the works is, you guys know I always do this to you, um, we don't have time to build the E34 M5 and take it to gravity. So now we need to make a decision. Which car are we taking to gravity? Let's park SEMA for a while now and we'll come back to SEMA. Let's talk about gravity. I wake up, flex, thumb down, that check, no drip, this, what? tell him run it on, no sleep, no rest, might crash, might wreck, but first die, stretch, tell him run it on. Which car are we going to take for gravity? We don't have much time, so we need to take something that number one is going to have a massive impact like what Mkabi had. We got to take something that doesn't require a lot of work because our time frame is limited. So these are my choices. Number one choice is Vato. I haven't driven Vato in like three years. So I believe that Vato getting a bit of a makeover, a different color scheme. I think Vato can do well because a lot of the classic Mercedes Benz stood out last year. Uh, and if I'm not mistaken, two won prizes last year. So going with the classic Mercedes-Benz is a good option. And also, I think it's time to give Vato some TLC. So if we had to go with Vato, I would definitely do paint. I would definitely redo the interior. I would do a killer air ride install. I would tidy up the engine bay and I would put a new set of wheels. So it's not a lot of work because Vato is in a very good condition. So I don't have to do a lot of major work on Vato. So I believe Vato is an option. Um, I'd also want to put a rag top sunroof. I believe a rag top on Vato would look killer. So that's option number one. 
Option number two is the 850. Now last year there were three 850s at the show. Um, personally for us to see, uh, uh, or actually there was, I think it's 840s. They've got a lot of 840s there. So personally, I don't think that the 850 would be something unique. However, I've got a sick plan on how I'd like to build a car. So I love a black 850 or 8 series. So ideally I would not paint the car. I would wrap the car. So we need to wrap the car. We would definitely do air ride suspension on the car. We definitely do a custom interior. And I definitely put a sick wheel on the car. But my concern is that none of the 850s did well at the show. So I'm kind of, I don't want to build a car and the car is not going to be a hit at the show. But in the same breath, I believe that I've got something unique planned for the 850. So I think it would do well based on what I would like to do with the car. So photo number one, 850 number two. Now we come to my third option. And then you guys are gonna call me crazy, right? But Puta looks nice, Puta looks cool, Puta's had about three different wheels, Puta's been three different colors in its lifespan. Puta's originally been red, that's the factory color. When I bought the car, I bought the car uh, with the car being navy blue and then I changed the color to white and did the, obviously the salmon interior setup. So when the car was at Beamer Fest, I kept on looking at Puta and I kept on telling myself, I can do better on this car. So the wheel it's got on is the M Coupe wheel. I put the wheel on because I thought it would look cool. It does look cool, but I feel we can do better. So I'm considering Puta and giving Puta a makeover. Now, luckily for me, the, the work that Puta would need to get done is just an interior and just a paint job and another set of wheels. And definitely a rag top sunroof. I know the purists are gonna hate me, but I wanna put a rag top sunroof on Puta, especially with the color scheme that we're going to be going for. I feel that the interior will pop, especially with the rag top being open. So that's my three options for gravity. I don't think there's any other option that could do it for us. I won't wanna compete on a heat colorless level purely because the E30 pillarless in the UK is mental. You got E30 JV's pillarless, you got a few of the other gents pillarless and their cars are absolutely mental. I don't think I can compete with an IS because I don't want to bag Scorco, uh, purely because Scorco is fun to drive and it's not a stance car, it's more of a driving car and also scorco has got a lot of more work. I need to do paint, I need to build a motor, and obviously tidy the car up. So from a time factor, I don't think Scorco will do well at the show also because it's not big. So I don't know. So I really need your help in choosing. So please guys comment down below with the cars that you think we should take for gravity or the car you think we should take for gravity. Once again, I wish we had an E34 M5 donor car because we would have been finishing up the wagon. It's supposed to start January, it's May already. I haven't had a chance. I just pulled the motor out. So the wagon would have been cool, but our problem we're sitting with is we don't have an E34 M5 donor car. So we're still looking for an E34 M5 donor car. So if you know of someone selling, please let us know, comment down below. I'm actually going to see one in this week. Hopefully we can strike a deal. But there's another show that I'd like to attend, which is the next weekend after Gravity. So I think it'll be cool if we go for Gravity and we go for the second show in the UK, um, just to get a bit of a feel of another type of show. Looking forward to that as well. Um, so that's the option. So what we are currently doing is we're separating the Gravity bulb and we're separating the SEMA bulb. But the SEMA bulb is hanging on the fact that we possibly can't just go in a tent, we gotta go with one of the brand exhibitors. Or alternatively, we've gotta take a stand there, so we're still waiting for costs. So I'm still deciding. If we don't go to SEMA this year, I'm hoping we do. I've been praying a lot for it because it's a bucket list thing. 
we'd look at going somewhere else at the end of the year probably in europe somewhere for another show so it's not off the cards i really want to travel again and i really want to attend an, an overseas car show so either way we're going to be building the wagon for the show towards end of the year which show we still seem to decide um, so hopefully we get it uh, uh, done. So comment down below, guys. I really need your help on this. Um, what do you think will have a fantastic impact at the show? What do you think will be cool, unique? Um, Bukavi was a winner, definitely. So we need to hopefully go and take something that's going to do just as well. So I'm not sure what to take, guys. You guys are going to help me. Remember the options are Vato, the H series Puta, and maybe we can also take Ngamla. Ngamla is also an option. Ngamla has got very little work to do. Ngamla realistically just needs some mechanical work and it also needs a nicer paint job. So that also could potentially be an option. So let's throw it out there. We've got Vato, we've got the H series, we've got Puta and we've got Ngamla, which is the six series. You guys make a decision and you guys let me know how we're gonna do this. Once we make a decision, I'm going to post up another video and then we're going to talk colors and design and you guys are going to help me choose as always. Remember once again, guys, I'm doing this for the love of cars. I'm doing this to show the rest of the world uh, South Africa's potential and I'm trying to put South Africa on the map when it comes to building cars. Because uh, again, we have a lot of talented people. I mean, you guys follow a lot of other guys. I follow a lot of other guys. So there's mad respect for the guys in South Africa. Uh, so let's think of something cool. Once again, thank you so much for subscribing, liking, commenting, interacting. We love you guys. And of course, our champions that are always commenting on the videos, we really appreciate you guys. We're almost on 21,000 subscribers and we're about to announce our free interior uh, competition. So stay tuned for that. I'm looking forward to having uh, uh, or running the competition to say a thank you to all you guys that will be dropping on our social media next week so look out for that chip musa chicanos customs for the love of cars be safe guys <laughs>